Good morning, beautiful people. It is Ashley here with Fire Intuition. Welcome back to my channel. Today is a Monday, April the 23rd. I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. Do keep in mind that this is a general reading. It is for all signs. Only take the message if it resonates with you. I tell you guys in every reading that I love you, so I'm sending a lot of love out there to you guys. Hope you guys are open to receive it. Today I will be doing something different. I'm going to get an overall energy with the Romance Angels. I will be seeing how they feel, how you feel, what is in their actions, or if they're coming towards you. I will pull cards for those of you who have no communication and also for those of you who are in third-party situations, okay? So let's see what messages we have for today. Also, far as the gift card giveaway, I'm still checking my emails. I only have one person so far who has got all the questions right. If I don't get anyone else that gets the questions right, I will put everyone's name that sent me an email, and then I'll just draw five names, and I will send you guys an email and let you guys know who won the free gift card giveaway with me. Also, on Friday, guys, when I was doing the reading, incense and candles flew out of everywhere. And I was like, I jumped, but I just like kept going on with the reading because I was like scared, but not scared. And I looked in the comments and like no one's seen it. And I was like, oh my God. I was like, no one's seen that these incense and candles flew out of anywhere. I was like, oh Lord. I was like, spirit was definitely in um, my office on Friday. So let's hop into this reading. Let's see what the overall energy is going to be for today with the Romance Angels. Spirit of the Universe, please give me an overall energy for today, Monday, April the 23rd with the Romance Angels. All right, our overall energy for today is unrequited love. And it says there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So a lot of you guys just feel like the love is not there. You feel like the love is lost. You feel like there's no love at all. For a lot of you guys, that person really does love you. They care about you and they want to come toward you. They do want to approach you. But for some of you guys, they feel like you don't love them no more. They feel like the love is not there. A lot of them feel like they don't have enough to offer or to give to you. So let's see what the cards say. So the overall energy today is unrequited love. All right. Spirit of the Universe, can I please get some messages for Monday, April the 23rd for all signs? Where are we at as a collective? How does that person feel? What actions are they planning on taking? Spirit of the Universe, please give me some messages for Monday, April the 23rd. Spirit of the Universe, please give me some messages for Monday, April the 23rd, for all the signs. All right, so I see we have the world card at the bottom of the deck. So things shifting, things changing, moving into new cycles. All righty, I feel like this is it. So let's see what our message is going to be for today. Under the unrequited love card, we have the passion card. So it says, allow your heart and soul to sing with, with joy. So a lot of you guys still have passion for this person. They still have a lot of passion for you. So the passion is still there. And then we have true love. And it says, this is the romance of a lifetime. So for a lot of you guys, this really is true love. Maybe the love just seems and feel unrequited right now. Okay. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the nine of wands. And this is you guys still having that little bit of fight in you, still on edge, still a little defensive. So this is probably why the love feels unrequited. I feel like a lot of you guys are opening up to this person, are wanting that person to open up to you, and they're not. So you guys are very defensive. You're very on edge. You're trying to stay strong. You're trying to, you know, like tame your emotions and your feelings, trying not to go off, but still kind of sad and upset, missing that person, wanting that person around you. So let's see where the relationship is right now. We have the death card, we have the page of cups, we have the hermit, and we have the four of cups. So where the relationship is right now, for a lot of you guys, you guys could be dealing with a Scorpio. But if not, this is like endings and new beginnings. The relationship is going through a transformation. So someone is having a rebirth, someone is going through a huge transform huge transformation within this relationship so i feel like it's not that that person doesn't want to communicate or open up this person is just going through something this person is going through a huge transformation within the relationship i see the love offer is there with the page of cups so you know this is things seeming difficult you feel like this person may be childish you feel like they're not opening up you feel like the feelings and the love is not there but the love is there this person wants to give you an offer this person wants to come towards you and offer you love 
I do feel like with the hermit card, they can be a Virgo. But if not, I feel like with the hermit card, this person is doing a little soul searching. They're thinking. They're thinking about what they want. They're thinking about what they did in the relationship. They're thinking about how they can make the relationship better when it comes to you. Um just making the relationship a priority i feel like in the past they didn't they ignored you they ignored how you felt which is why you were in the nine of wands energy and this person wants to come back better they want to be strong with the four of cups i feel like this is more so you guys' energy feeling rejected kind of lost in your thoughts not knowing what's going to happen ready for love a lot of you guys with this cup right here you're just ready for new love to come in you're ready for love to come in in general so a lot of you guys are waiting for new love or want new love a lot of you guys are feeling rejected and wanting that old person back or wanting that person to open up communication and they're not but you see we have the cup right there and we have the peg of cups that offer is going to come in they want to give you that offer they're thinking about that offer but with the death card they're just going through a transformation and with the hermit card they're thinking now they're doing a little bit of soul searching but also thinking how they want to to approach the relationship this time around all right next we have the two of swords we have the ten of swords and we have the eight of swords so this is beautiful energy you know things are coming to an end with the ten of swords they want the trauma to be over you want the trauma to be over you guys want the love offer they want to give you the love offer they're ready to open up and express to you how they feel we have the two of swords they're going to make that choice this is them coming out of that stalemate ready to open up their feelings and emotions not one of those hurt feelings inside for a lot of you guys i feel like this is you trying not to hold on to the hurt feelings anymore we have the eight of swords so they're finally breaking free from whatever situation they were in this person is the reason why the relationship was held back this person was stuck they were blindfolded they didn't know how to escape they were afraid to escape for a lot of you guys this person felt as if they did open up or did take off their blindfolders that it was still a missed opportunity or the love was still not there or you just didn't want to take them back which is why the love again still feels unrequited to me because the energy that i'm picking up on is that both of you guys want the same thing but just a lot of mixed energy the energy is mixed up. So it's like both of you guys want to approach each other or both of you guys want to open up and have conversation. Both of you guys want to communicate. It looks like both of you guys want to express your feelings and emotions or, you know, give an offer, but you guys both being afraid. Because with the Ten of Swords, that's letting me know that both of you guys are ready to this end the drama. You guys are ready to end the trauma. You guys don't want to go through the pain. You don't want to feel the pain anymore. So a 10 is completion. If they're not breaking free, this is you finally breaking free. Wanting the relationship to make some progress. Again, you guys are coming out of that stalemate. Finally making a choice and decision. This is choices that need to be made with the two of swords. So how are they feeling right now? We have the knight of pentacles. We have the king of pentacles. We have the tower. And we have the magician. So again, the tower, this is beautiful. There's going to be a major shift and a change, but it's going to be for the better. In the past, I feel like with the Knight of Pentacles, things were moving slow, things were stuck, things were stagnant, things weren't going anywhere, the relationship was not progressing, this person was kind of stuck in their ways, things weren't changing, you guys wanted things to change really fast, and I feel like with the Knight of Pentacles, you guys wanted something that was going to happen, and you guys wanted it right away, and it wasn't ready to happen because we had the tower. So things had to come apart, things had to fall apart in order for things to come back, get, you know, better. And this time when that person comes back into your life, we have the King of Pentacles. So you guys can be dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn, but if not, this person is coming back and they're coming back better. In their feelings, how they feel, they want to give you everything. How they feel, they want to treat you right this time around. They don't want to lie. They don't want to double deal. They don't want to be untrustworthy. This person wants to give you all of them. And if this is not someone from your past, this is someone new coming in. We have the magician. So this is soulmate energy. This is beautiful energy with the magician this person finally being in their power this person finally having all the tools they finally have everything it takes to keep their relationship or to get their relationship the way they want it or they're in their power to where if you guys do sit down and talk you guys will be able to allow the relationship to move forward because this person finally has something to offer they have something to give you and for a lot of you guys that person didn't want to come back into your life until they had something to give you because in the past they knew with the knight of pentacles they didn't have much to offer that's why things were moving slow and with the tower that's why the universe had to break you guys up so that this person could get themselves together come back to you as a king of pentacles take care of you treat you right give you everything you want and more like i said if you guys are meeting someone new you guys you know the trauma is over you guys are out of that relationship things move slow if you guys get back with that person things are steadily going to move slow things aren't going to shift and change and you guys need to let this tower moment happen so that the true person that is meant to be in your life can come again towards virgo capricorn if not they disembodied this energy 
So they can be a father figure, they can be a business owner, you know, someone that's really abundant, someone that wants to be an entrepreneur or that is an entrepreneur, someone that's about their business. They're very fair in relationships. Again, they have a lot to offer. With the magician, this person is very much in their power. If you're dealing with someone from the past, this person has changed. They did a whole 180. So this person has everything now. They're, you know, they're able to give you the cup, the sword, the wand, the pinnacle. Like they have everything that you need to keep this relationship growing. Let's see why the tower is here. Exactly. So with the tower, you know, you guys had to be single for a while. And while you guys were single, you guys were getting yourself together as well. So a lot of you guys, it's like the heart. What's that saying? Um, the heart, you no know, absence makes the heart grow fonder. So you guys did really miss this person. You guys are really sad. You guys look back and you're like, okay, I really want this person in my life. I need this person in my life. But at the same time, you knew that you needed to work on yourself with the nine of pentacles. You also knew that you needed to rebuild yourself. A lot of you guys needed to be focused on work. You needed to be focused on the foundation. You needed to be focused on a lot of other things around you. So even though you wanted to make this relationship a priority, it just wasn't time. And that's why that tower was here. Also, we have the emperor. You guys can be an Aries. But if not, things weren't solid. Things weren't secure. Things weren't stable. If you had children with this person, the relationship was on and off. They were in third-party relationships. There was no communication. Again, the relationship back and forth. You were kind of confused with the three of wands. This is for those of you who are meeting new people. You're going to meet someone new. This is going to be a beautiful relationship. There's going to be a lot of growth in this relationship. A lot of success in this relationship. I feel like this person, if they're not the king of pinnacles that you might be, and this person is going to help you grow and expand your business or whatever ideas or projects or whatever you have, you know, this person is going to help you open up and expand that. If this is you guys going back to the past with the three of wands, this is you guys working out the obstacles, working out the troubles, able to open up your feelings and emotions, seeing where the relationship can grow. Well, seeing where the relationship can go and seeing if the relationship can grow. Because we do have the magician, so this person does want to settle down. They're not immature anymore. They're not manipulative. They're not playing games. They're ready to have a commitment. They're ready to move on. They're ready for things to move forward with the three of wands. So let's see. What's in your feelings? How are you guys feeling today? We have the seven of cups. We have the four of swords. We have the last judgment. And we have the full card. So you guys are kind of, you know, in the same boat. I feel like when it comes to commitment, that's something both of you guys want. So we have the full card. In the past, like I said, this person was very foolish. They didn't want to settle down. They didn't want to commit. This is under the magician. So Major Arcana, this is beautiful. You guys both want to commit and settle down now. You guys both want a relationship. You guys are ready to open up and talk to each other. You guys do want to see where this is going. A lot of you guys have manifested this relationship. With the last judgment, there is going to be final choices and decisions. This is you guys finally making that choice and decision. No longer running away from your feelings, your emotions, the relationship. Finally opening up. We have the seven of cups, so you guys are confused. A lot of you guys are frustrated. Maybe this person did have a lot of choices and options, and you guys are still thinking that this is the, you know, the case. That they still have a lot of choices and options open. We have the four of swords. So you guys had a rest. A lot of you guys were overwhelmed. You guys were burnt out. Things kept multiplying. A lot of you guys don't want things to multiply no more, which is why we have the Four of Swords next to the Seven of Cups, because you guys still feel like this is in their energy. You guys feel that there's still people around them, or this is what you guys are thinking. And I feel like with this Last Judgment card, a lot of you guys are holding back your choice and decision. And that's why we have the Fool card. So it's like you want this new beginning with this person, but you're holding back making that final decision because you guys are very unsure of this person. But I feel like for a lot of you guys, whoever this person is, old or new coming in or, you know, going out or whatever, this person is ready to commit and settle down. And you guys will know who you guys are. Because I feel like this relationship was very toxic, but I also feel like when it comes to this relationship, it was based on not opening up feelings and emotions. Someone not truly expressing how they felt. You know, someone running away from their true emotions and feelings. Let's see why the Seven of Cups is here. Why are you guys still confused? Okay, so for a lot of you guys, you guys were confused because they kept playing mind games. And with the Nine of Cups, this person kept coming in and out of your life. And with the Ten of Cups, you guys really just want, you know, contentment. You guys want happiness. You guys want to be comfortable. You want to be in love. You guys want to be married. With the Emperor, you guys want something solid. You guys are ready for that commitment. And for a lot of you guys, you're going to get this. This person is serious. With the Five of Swords, they're ready to put the past behind them. When it comes to meeting new people, a lot of you guys, when you're meeting new people or trying to meet new people or wanting to meet new people, it's like with the Seven of Cups and the Five of Swords, it's like you guys are having that inner battle. And with the Knight of Cups, you guys really want someone to come in your life that's going to give you this Ten of Cups. 
But, like, things are never going to shift and change if you guys don't get out and explore and, you know, weigh out your options and allow different people to come in and meet people. So, it's like you guys are battling this. You guys are like, oh, I want somebody in my life. I want someone new. But with the Five of Swords, it's like it's just an inner battle. It's like something that you guys keep battling with yourself. You're like, I want love. I need love. I got to have love. But it's like with the Seven of Cups, you're not doing nothing about it. And you have a lot of choices and options around you. I feel like for a lot of you guys, there's people right in front of you that you're overseeing. You're not looking at them but it's like having someone right in front of you that really wants a relationship with you or this is you finally stepping out and getting out and enjoying yourself and there just be a lot of choices and options but for a lot of you guys in order for this new person to come in with the knight of cups and give you your ten of cups you guys have a lot of pain inside you guys have a lot of resentment inside and you guys need to let that go and be open to change and be open to allow someone new to come into your life all right um let's see what our overall energy is going to be well, no, let's see. For those of you who have um, no communication, we have the Ten of Pentacles, we have the Three of Swords, we have the Six of Rods, and we have the Page of Swords. So, for those of you who don't have no communication, you know, you're still heartbroken. There can definitely be a third-party situation. With the Ten of Pentacles, you know, you guys are kind of lost. You guys are upset. You guys are, you know, very broken because you guys had a foundation. You guys were building a foundation. For a lot of you guys, you guys could have had kids. You guys could have been married, um, engaged. Um, this also has to do with pregnancy. So, you know, trying to build that family. And, you know, there is a third-party situation. With the Six of Rods, you guys just don't feel appreciated. You guys feel overlooked by your partner. And with the Page of Swords, you know, they are lying. They are hiding something from you. I feel like you guys are about to find out what's going on. This person is going to come towards you as well with the Six of Rods. They're going to open up communication. Let's see why the Page of Swords is here. Yeah, so for a lot of you guys, it has to do with pregnancy. A lot of you guys are pregnant, but if not with the Empress, they're going to open up and tell you that they want a new beginning. With the Queen of Swords, there was definitely a third-party situation, but this person is out of the picture. So this person is, you know, no longer going to be a part of the relationship. The Queen of Swords is no longer going to be an interference within the relationship, and I feel like that's part of the reason why you guys didn't have any communication. This person was kind of confused. They didn't really know what they wanted, but they want a new beginning with the Empress, which is you. We have the Emperor, so they are going to open up communication this is like a mother and father this is security stability they want to open back up the relationship they do want to communicate they want their ten of pentacles back a lot of you guys need to let go of the pain and heal with the three of swords um and then we have the ace of wands so this is a beautiful new beginning this is also birthing something new so again i feel like strong a lot of you guys are pregnant but if not you know with the empress they want a new beginning and with the ace of rise they just want to birth and create something new with you they want something that's more passionate for a lot of you guys they still loved you but the passion wasn't there and i feel like that's why we have the passion card so even though there is a lot of passion inside of you and inside of that person i feel like the love was just lost or the the inst the interest that you guys had in each other were lost for a while you know, and they wanted that chemistry and they wanted that passion. And I feel like you guys were steadily arguing, okay, with the Queen of Swords. That could have pushed them away. A lot of arguing within the relationship. And, you know, it turned into something that was a third-party situation with the Three of Swords. And it kind of pushed them away. But I feel like in the past, you know, they weren't taking action. They weren't keeping promises. But you're going to find out some significant information. I don't feel like it's going to be nothing major. I feel like they're going to come to you as a page of swords and let you know what was going on and open up the communication to tell you what was going on within the relationship. For a lot of you guys, you guys could be the queen of swords, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. And you guys were pregnant by this person or are pregnant by this person. And you guys were dealing with someone who was steadily on and off in the relationship with you. And there were steadily third parties. You guys are very heartbroken. And you guys just lost interest in that person. Or they lost interest in you at the time. But with the Ace of Wands, they're going to come back and open up communication. And things are going to start over. Because like I said with the Empress, they want a new beginning with you. For those of you who are in third party situations, we have the Queen of Rods. We have the Seven of Swords. We have the Nine of Swords. And we have the Queen of Cups. So definitely third party situations. I feel like with the Queen of Rods, things kind of got out of control. And when things got out of control with the Queen of Rods, you know, there was some betrayal. There was some deception. This person was in a third-party situation. We do have the Nine of Swords. You felt it. It was true. You knew it was in the energy. You felt it within the relationship. I feel like with the Queen of Swords, you try to change. I mean, with the Queen of Wands, you try to change things. You try to fix things. This person came back to apologize to you. But things still got kind of out of control because this person still had this Queen of Cups around. 
but this is also you not able to control your feelings and emotions. Your feelings and emotions kind of being all over the place. You know, very hurt, very upset that there was a third party situation. Kind of upset that you were feeling the energy that you were, you know, feeling in your energy that there was a third party situation and that this person was cheating and lying to you and again, betraying you and backstabbing you and there was a lot of deception. Okay, I do feel like this third party person is still around. I feel like you guys are going to have a heart to heart with the nine of swords and clear the air. Let's see why is the nine of swords here. Yeah, there's going to be communication that comes. Okay, this person, I feel like you guys are blocked kind of right now. This person is going to open up communication with you guys with the eight of uh, wands. With the eight of pentacles, this is you guys separated. You guys are like together, but kind of separated. So I feel like you guys are in a relationship, not building right now, kind of separated. You guys could be living with each other. If you guys aren't living with each other, then this is you guys like, you guys were living together. You guys were building. But when you found out about the third party, that person moved. They shifted away. We have the temperance card. So this person is going to come back. They're going to want to reconcile. You guys could be dealing with a Sag or you guys could be a Sag because we do have the Queen of Wands. But then you guys can also be an Aries Leo Sag or we're dealing with an Aries Leo Sag. And this person, you know, had a third party situation. But again, like I said, communication is going to come in. This person is going to try to apologize. As far as the third party... Mm. Yeah, you guys are definitely dealing with a fire sign. We have the King of Rods. So again, Aries Leo Sag. Or you guys could have both been, you know, fire sign people. And you guys are both in a long-term relationship with the Four of Wands. You guys live together. You guys are building a foundation. For a lot, of, a lot of you guys, you guys could have been married or this could have been something long-term. With the higher fit, you guys could have been dealing with a Taurus. If not, you guys had a, a committed relationship. And things just got out of hand. You guys just weren't seeing balance. You guys weren't seeing eye to eye. Things weren't, you know, fair within the relationship. And I feel like when things got kind of toxic and things got rough, you guys both being in the same suit, you know, things kind of getting out of control. This person stepped out. They had a third party situation with the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or the third party person could have been um, Aries, Leo, Sag. Did I say Three of Cups? I meant to say third party. And with the Nine of Swords, you know, you guys are still thinking about this. I feel like even when that person comes back, this is still going to be something that's on your mind. So let's release that energy with the Nine of Swords, but definitely communication is coming in. A lot of you guys were blocked from this person in the past, or there was just no communication coming in at all. So now communication is going to come in. Let's see what's on their mind with this King of Rods. Yeah, see, there's going to be direct communication that comes in. There's going to be fast communication that comes in. And this person is going to be very direct in their approach with the Eight of Wands and the Knight of Swords. So this person is going to come in fast and quick and tell you how they feel. They're going to tell you what was going on. Because with the High Priestess, your intuition is open now. I feel like you guys weren't using your intuition in the past. And you know that they were lying. You know that they were, you know, keeping secrets. And they know that you know that as well. And so now they have no choice but to open up and express, you know, what was going on or tell you what was going on with the high priestess. And then we have the Will of Fortune. So this was a lesson. This was karmic. This is karma with the Will of Fortune. For some of you guys, you guys will be able to move forward. But for some of you guys, you guys are still in this lesson. And coming out of the lesson with the Will of Fortune. Okay? So the overall energy that I see for today and today's reading for all signs, we have the Three of Pentacles. We have the world card, we have the ten of wands, and we have the seven of rods. So, again, a lot of arguments, major arguments. You having to stand your ground, you being very defensive. We have the ten of rods. So, for a lot of you guys, this is completion. This is it. With the will of fortune, you guys are out of your karmic lesson. You guys are going to move forward. The, you know, the burdens and everything are, they're lifted off of you. You feel relieved. You feel happy. Things are going to shift and change. For a lot of you guys... You guys are going to reconcile with this person, but you guys are going to still be in your lesson because you guys haven't learned the lesson yet. You guys are steadily being defensive, steadily going off, still trying to, you know, stand your ground, not allowing this person to open up or you're not allowing things to shift and change. You're just ready for things to change. And when you say it and how you say it, because you want it that way and you guys are going to get back together. There's going to be a lot of petty arguments. Things are going to move forward. You guys are still going to be stuck in the past. And with the world card, things are just not going to shift and change. For those, for some of you guys who are getting back together or meeting new people, again, you guys learned your lesson when it comes to relationships. That burden is going to be lift off, lifted off of you. With the will of fortune, you guys have learned your lesson, so now you guys can move. You guys are going to be stuck and stagnant. Remember, we did have the Knight of Pentacles, and with the world card, this is completion. So you guys are going to shift and move into a new cycle and a new phase within the relationship. So, um, 
let's see what we got with these romance angels for today we have the unrequited love card so we have the moon and we have the six of swords so yeah this relationship did go through a phase you guys could have been dealing with a cancer or a pisces but there was a lot of truth and a lot of secrets that needed to be revealed someone was holding back their emotions and feelings things got really ugly this person left. Also with the Six of Swords, you guys are holding on and you guys need to let go. A lot of you guys are holding on, you know, from that relationship. You guys are holding on the baggage. You guys want to let go, but you guys can't let go and you guys are steadily holding on. And you guys need to just let go and release that energy. And that's why the love feels very unrequited right now because you guys are holding on to something that happened in the past. You guys are holding on to old feelings and emotions and needing to release that energy in order for things to move forward. We have the Passion card. And with the Passion card, we have the Strength card and the King of Swords. So you guys could have been Leo and Air Sign person, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. But if not, you know, this person acted as if they didn't have feelings and emotions with the King of Swords. This person acted like they didn't care about you, no matter what the sign was. Or they weren't showing you how they felt. They weren't giving you that chemistry and passion that you needed. And with the strength card, you thought that person moved on for something better. You were having a lot of self-doubt. You had to find the inner strength. You thought you were the reason why that person left you. You thought that you weren't giving them enough of yourself. So you felt like sexually that, you know... They weren't attracted to you, but they were. The chemistry and passion was still there. But that person, you know, was in a lesson, learning how to open up their feelings and emotions, learning how to express their passion, the chemistry and stuff that they have for people instead of just having people give it to them. So I feel like this person was kind of stubborn and selfish with what they wanted out of a relationship. They wanted a lot of sex. They wanted a lot of feelings and emotions. They wanted a lot of chemistry. They wanted passion, but they weren't willing to give it back. So it's like they just wanted to take everything but not give back to the relationship. But there is passion there between both of you guys. And with the true love card, this is the romance of a lifetime. We have the seven of pentacles and we have the knight of rods. So again, this is divine timing. When you guys were ready to invest in the relationship in the past, this person wasn't. They were all over the place. They weren't ready to settle down. They weren't ready to commit. This person was kind of scared of the connection. Again, this person met you. They didn't know what to do. They didn't tell you nothing when it came to the relationship. So with the Seven of Pentacles, you didn't know where it was going. The relationship kind of ended negative. You wanted more out of the relationship than they did. But now with the Knight of Rods, I feel like this person is going to come towards you. They're going to open up. They're going to express their emotions and feelings. So this is them coming towards you. We did have the Eight of Wands. So this is also travel. This is also a lot of communication coming in. Good news. You guys are going to finally get the answer that you want. You're going to finally get what you want out of this person. They're going to finally open up and tell you and express to you how they really feel within the relationship. And remember, I told you with the Knight of Swords, they're going to come in fast, very swift. This is fast communication. They're going to come in very fast, okay? So let's pull our Whispers of Love Oracle, and that would be our message for today. Spirit of the Universe, please give me a Whispers of Love Oracle for Monday, April the 23rd. Spirit of the Universe, please give me a Whispers of Love Oracle. And we have Demonstrate Love. Okay? So this is number 11. 8 plus 4 is 11. We have Demonstrate Love. And like I just said, with the Passion card, this person wanted a lot of chemistry. They wanted a lot of passion. They wanted a lot of you. But they didn't know how to open up and give themselves to you. And we have the Demonstrate Love card. And with the Demonstrate Love card, it says, Find out what is important to the people you love and act on it. So this person knows you're important. This person loves you. So now they're going to open up. This person is coming toward you. They want to really demonstrate love. They want to open up their feelings and emotions. They want to show you how much they really care about you. Yeah, we have the Six of Cups. We have the Star card. And we have the Nine of Cups. So like I told you in the past, this person wanted their wishes fulfilled. They wanted everything out of you. But they weren't fulfilling your wishes. And there was a lot of dissatisfaction in the relationship. Things broke up. You aren't feeling happy. You're like, I'm giving all of myself to this person. I'm giving my everything. You're like, I'm giving all my feelings, emotions, love, thought, everything to this person. And they weren't giving it to you. And in the Six of Cups, this is someone from your past. This person wants to come back. They want to reconcile with you. For a lot of you guys, you guys are leaving the past. You guys are letting go of the past because this person wasn't demonstrating love. This person wasn't opening up their feelings and emotions. And with the Nine of Cups, someone is going to come in and give you your wishes fulfilled. And with the Star card, you guys could have been dealing with an Aquarius. If not, you guys can be meeting an Aquarius. But if not, with the Star card, you guys have planted your seed. You guys know what you want out of a relationship. And now it's finally going to happen. You're going to get the love of your lifetime. You're going to get the person that's meant for you. If you're going back to the past, this is you guys, you know, that wanted that hope and our renewal you guys wanted things to start over you guys wanted 
a new beginning with that person. This person is going to come back. You're going to have a new beginning. This person is going to open up and demonstrate love. You know, they're going to give you all of them now. They're going to fulfill your wishes. So it's going to be equal on both sides. And with the six of cups, again, like I said, this person wants to reconcile. They're still stuck on the past. They're still thinking about the past. They still want what you guys had in the past. Okay. So that is our reading for today, Monday, April the 23rd. And again, I hope you guys are having a beautiful day and I will see you guys again tomorrow. Bye. Love you guys.